So, uh, you know, we're getting ready. August 26th for McGregor uh, Mayweather. I, I said before, I don't think Conor McGregor will win the fight. I don't think he'll win a round. I would be shocked if he put together two combinations effectively. I think he'll probably land a punch or two. Uh, but I think it. this would... Floyd Mayweather is a specialist, like Usain Bolt running the, the 100 meters. That's what Usain Bolt does. Conor McGregor may be able to wrestle a little and fight a little and kick a little, and, but he's like a decathlon. Well, it would be great if the decathlon was facing the sprinter in a decathlon, but it's a sprint, and it's not the octagon. It's a boxing ring, and they're using boxing gloves and boxing rules, and you can't tackle. And I think if you use the ability to, to use UFC rules, then I think it would be a really interesting fight. They're not. This is Usain Bolt running the 100 meters against a really good decathlete. Um, and so I think McGregor's going to get destroyed. I don't think he'll get destroyed physically. I'll, I just think he'll get dominated by the judges because he won't land punches. Now, in the process, we know that uh, Conor McGregor is going through sparring partners. When I got out of college, I covered boxing because my first job was in Vegas. And I don't know, Christine, what was your first job out of college? In Boston. That's a that's a good first job. Mine, well, well, it was online. So Okay. But it was Boston. Yeah. It, it beats... Being online in Midland, Texas. Agreed so, completely. So my first job was in Vegas, and I covered boxing. And Mike Tyson was there, and Don King was there, and Sugar Ray Leonard was there, and Thomas Hearns was there. So, listen, I go. I went to a lot of sparring sessions with Mike Tyson and Sugar Ray and Hearns. So I've been to these sparring sessions, and these sparring partners they don't make much money. They get beat up, but they they're they're kind of part of the camp. Well, Paulie Malignaggi was part of the McGregor camp, and he just quit. And he came out yesterday and basically said Conor McGregor's uh, the biggest dirtbag I've ever met, and he took shots at him. And, and he also said this about Conor McGregor. Don't you want your sparring partners to be at the best they can be? Don't you want your sparring partners to be at their sharpest so they give you the best work? I mean, Floyd is going to be at his best. Well, why would you want that false sense of security? You're trying to put your sparring partners in a tough situation. Why, Ariel? Because he's a he doesn't like that. He doesn't want to be put in those positions. He wants to be a front runner. He wants to be the guy who always has the advantage. Because when he has the advantage, he's a big man. When he gets tired, he wants out of the fight. That's interesting that he said there that don't you want your your partner to be at his best? Because I've heard from my sources that Floyd right now looks terrible, but that he like he'll still beat Connor, but he doesn't look good. Well in sparring. It's interesting. Floyd's older, and my my belief was before this fight, the longer Connor could put it off and fight an older Mayweather, like mm -hmm. forty one was better. I don't think you're going to have a great fight. Here's what's here's what's interesting, is that I've always felt the public's pretty smart, right? Like the, the public. I mean, they elected Trump, but by and large, I think we're, we we kind of generally get it right. Um, the pay per views are going to do well because it's ninety nine bucks, and you and three people can split it. The tickets are not selling right now, and I think that this fight has been overpriced to the consumers. I think the pay-per-view price is is good. I don't think they're going to sell as many tickets as they thought they were going to sell. The, the average ticket price is $3,500, and I think the public knows this is not going to be a good fight. I think the weigh is going to be fascinating. The pre-fight hype is going to be fascinating. The post-fight press conference is going to be fascinating. The walk-up to the ring is going to be fascinating. I don't think the 36 minutes in the ring is going to be much to watch. Well, and that's the thing. Is it even going to be 36 minutes? For me, if I were going to be buying a ticket, I would think about that. Is the fight going to be so short that it's not worth that much money because I'm not getting a lot of entertainment? And I would almost think that that ring walk is going to be the biggest part in the performance. And yes. they need to kind of up that as much as possible. Maybe even include like something else, like a performance or something right. to entertain people yeah. for a long time. But uh, the thing is, if you buy a ticket, you have to pay 3000 for just one seat. If it's 99 bucks, I can split it with four mm -hmm. buddies. You bring the beer, you bring the chips, I'll pay for this. I mean, you, you listen, we've seen this in sports before. The New York Yankees outpriced their market. They thought, oh, this is what the Yankee seats are worth. And the, and the market was like, we're not going to pay that. I think the price of tickets is, is cost prohibitive. Now, as we get closer to the fight, it may change some perceptions and people get, you know, it's August 26th. There's nothing going on. Let's buy the fight. But um, I, don't, I do not think the bout itself will be wildly entertaining.